It's interesting because I have felt the most alive moments right after I thought I was going to die. I was in a strike and I almost got killed. <laughs> Literally killed. It was almost normal to somehow witness a criminal act. Getting things stolen or being attacked or assaulted for it's reasons that at the time I couldn't comprehend, but it, it became like something normal in the country. I was covering via photography and videography like a bunch of the uh, strikes that were going on in my country because the only channel that it was covering a lot of what was happening, it was NT and T24. It needs a Colombian channel. So I started documenting what was happening and in the middle of the strike, things got really crazy. That was insane. I was 17 when that happened. I spent literally like two months in my house. Like my parents after that didn't let me go out. Hi. After that, I realized that my life was actually in danger. My name is Maria Angela and I'm from Venezuela. I'm 21 years old and I'm living in Bushwick in Brooklyn, New York. I finally talked to my family. I made the decision of like starting a new life here. I, I became very like lonely and I just started documenting like the changes that I was going through. So like I have a lot of photos that represent kind of like that solitude. You know, I started just doing self portraiture of like how it felt to like just just wake up and like having uncertainty. I think taking a camera was a way for me to express myself. I started journaling a lot and I started kind of like documenting what it was like that process of becoming a young adult, like my womanhood in a way, my early stage of a womanhood. And it became like a lot of self portraiture, but just of how empty and how sad and how nostalgic it was to just kind of start from a place where I sincerely did not have anything and how that was like my only option, like that was the decision that I took that led me into all of this and for sure it wasn't easy and it still is not but what I do think it's really beautiful is being able to through photography kind of like see the starting point of that decision and like have it all documented until now like from 17 until now that I'm 21 just seeing that change how I adapt and how my roots is still come from that that little girl that grew up vulnerable, exposed, and like is stronger in a way. It is not much different at the beginning when you move from Venezuela to other country because you have to like shred that skin, you know what I mean? So in the first year and a half, I was like going back and forth like, with people and I feel like the need of almost disattaching myself in order for me to sincerely be able to adapt to my reality here in the States. It was so sad because I was moving forward with my life, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing this project. And then my friends over there, they're like, that must be cool. Like, I'm just here. Like, I'm just really trying to make it through the day. The other photos that I have here in my wall, um, this one, it's with my grandma. I, I was, I was having issues with how to cope with my feelings, and I guess I started drinking a lot of alcohol, even though I was underage. Like I was just coping with a lot of that, and my grandma has been so understanding always, so sweet and so kind. And these two portraits, I did not took them, but I was able to do a talk at FIT about self-portraiture and photography. Being able to encourage other people to find the beauty in their own things and, and in their insecurities and to document their lives is, is really beautiful. I feel like something that I learned a lot from like me grading is that it showed me that you're not entitled at all. Like not even in your own country, you know what I mean? Like, what is really important is that we all get the same human rights and that's something that has been incredibly violated. If all of those things are being taken away from you, 
if you sincerely want to make your life better, that's when you make your decision. And that's when the dream starts. Thank you.